a bunch of bitches spawn and there's two um, there's two porter guys. Mm -hmm. The second stage is the big ice dragon with two heads. Sounds fun. <laughs> And the third stage is just the, you know, the plant that we kill in the sanity crystal stage? Mm hmm. You're yeah, back? that's that. Yeah. Nice. Also, I got my Lady Pearl to level 75 and like level 7 skills. Nice. I'm leveling her up as well right now. I, I also unlocked her crime brand. Ah, nice. That's quick. I'm not gonna lie, she's kinda useless. She's kinda useless for the broken front lane. The so runners are that play, man. Huh? She's <laughs> useless for runners of that breasty. Hooray. Oh, 11. What else I Cringe. Very cringe. Hmm? Why? What's happening? Uh, the fucking buffs or randoms of death are fucking garbage. What do we have this time around? There's a Rahu one, Lady Pearl one, Cabernet one, and then the rest are fucking straight. Nice. The specific, the specific center ones are Arcane, Umbra, and Fury centers. The arcane one, where the fuck do you use that? Nowhere. The umbro one, I guess you can use that in the fucking third stage where there's no enemies that move. The fury one, also just for the third stage. And then the buffs that are like permanent is when your sinners carry a shield, they get attack, attack speed and energy recovery. If you carry a shield. Damn. <laughs> the next Terrible one music is... to keep you awake when you're working late at night. Amazing. The next one, Rest is you got crit rate and attack and energy. That's not that bad. But it but... only lasts for 50 seconds. Nice. The effect dwindles when? for 3 seconds. What's the condition? No, the 100% crit rate and attack and energy 50%, it dwindles every second and just straight up is gone after 50 seconds. So you only you only have 50 seconds to make the most out of it and even then the full version is only for one second. Amazing. And then the last the last buff is every eight normal attacks your sinner gets skill damage. Cool. So they're all time-based. The issue is, the first stage, you need to kill the enemies fast. Because the porter guys don't care about you, because you can't block them. Nice. That kind of mission again, huh? Maybe yes. Echo can help. I'm thinking of using Rahu for the dragon stage. Nice. But then I realized, my, I'm planning on using my fear team for this. Right, that's it for my nightly path to nowhere bullshit. I'm gonna go play some more signalist now. Bestie, help! Help me make teams, please. No. Please. If I even even if I I can't, and even if I could, well, maybe I would help, but. Right now, lesbian tragedy love story comes first. Fuck this. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> right, time for the blue disc puzzle.
Put it on A. A? Look at it. It's just a straight up floppy disk. In the future. Ah, here we go. Never mind. This isn't what I wanted. Fuck. It's frozen. Nice. Alright, so. Yeah. I believe it's forty-five. Someone listening to the music right the music right now over there? Don't know. I'm fucking doing back to nowhere. I hear music and it's definitely not from me. Yeah, it's probably that. I don't know. Suck dick. At 43, I guess? Why don't you to know? Yep, this is the one. 43. What a beautiful song. Yeah, sounds sounds like a high octane battle music for a wit for a for a freaking Atari twenty eight hundred game. Oh, wait, you're talking about your game, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. This still suck. This still sounds terrible, but this is what allows us to. Solve one of the puzzles. Doot. Doot, doot, doot. Okay. Like a fucking dialogue thing. This is the title screen music. Wait, where do I use this song? Doot, doot. Uh, shit. Wait a shit. I don't know where to use this song, actually. Doot, doot, doot. Uh, I'll find it soon enough, I suppose. It's time to go to the dark room. Where everything is dark. We're almost there. I need to remember. When I get to Ito, I need to fucking do the shit for the good ending. What do you mean you need, you need to get to Ito? Like, I don't have to Ito next week? No. Isa Ito is her name. And she's gonna die soon. Question. Uh, you know, uh, fucking pro raven fucking feather you know, stacks, right? Hmm. Fuck it, I'm gonna if, murder those sons of bitches. If raven loses the feather stacks, does the enemy also lose the magic spread? Hmm? Uh, raven's uh, feather stacks decreases magic risk for enemies and stuff, yes. For anyone who hits them with magic can take advantage of that debuff. But once she uses her ultimate on them, uh, the stacks disappear. Including so, the rest shred. Is it good to use it or no? <laughs> hmm? I mean, you, you should still use it. At C1, uh, rather than getting rid of it entirely, it just resets back to 1. Yeah, no shit, I don't have C1. Yeah, well, I, I do, for some reason. Cringe. Fucking wail. I, I didn't wail. I lost I lost to her in a 50-50. Fucking wail. Facts. Dude, it's a fucking wail. It's alright. You are straight ass. Ah, uh, the stun fucking sucks. On dark rooms. Oh, fine. I guess I'm not using it. Fucking revolver, sure. Revolver, sure. I'll bring three heels and then where? Where are my pistol ammo? There they are. It's In time to use ammo. all of them. I should save. Where's your pistol ammo in the pistol ammo area? There will be glorious murder in that dark room. It'll be glorious. 
That's what she said. You know, I may as well kill the others on the other room as well, maybe. Oh, don't do that. That's illegal. Killing uh, others although, is bad. Maybe I'll kill them later. No, oh, Resty. Robots can't kill. What the fuck? If you let me kill. live, I'll die. I'm, it's robot to robot violence. That's, I'm pretty sure that's fine. No, it's not. What the fuck, Resty? Alright, hope we get wow. lucky here. Bang! Fuck! Oh! Fun. Ooh! Right, revolver time, revolver time. Revolver? Oh. I hardly know her. Uh. Revolver? One down. I hardly know her, Steve. Why can't they kick her? <laughs> Why can't I get to it? Oh! What? One ammo left. Come on, make it count. Shit, that guy's back up. Why won't you? Why wouldn't the game let me kick? Oh god, I'm flanked. I'm flanked. What? Ah. Why is our number gone now in the game over screen? Uh, maybe our se maybe our serial code is glitched since we 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 aren't using naturally made parts anymore for our body. That's a cool little detail, I suppose. Let's face it, you'll die a lot in this game. Oh, you know, it's a cool detail, Alright, instead of the revolver, maybe the shotgun would be more effective. It's worth a try. That's what Rusty said. Where's my shotgun? <laughs> Shotgun! That how the metal slug guy says it. Shotgun. Game still feels scary. I don't know. I don't know what it is about mom. She has the she has the aura to make things normal that should be scary, not scary. <laughs> Having you around doesn't help. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What up? Fuck! Sugada! Oh! Oh my god! They have so much fucking range! No! No! Fuck you! Oh! Alright, one down, one down. Bang! Ow! No! I'm playing the game! Yes! Where's the last bitch? Huh, I don't get the kicker. Works for me. Glorious! When I said there would be glorious murder, I meant it. Okay. 
Here it is. Storky and fuck. Dang it, I should have stored the I should have stored the tank thing. Oh, no, 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 Alright, where do we use the store key? In the store, dub. Where the fuck is the store? Oh yeah, I can go down the meat grinder. Let's go down there. What was that? Okay. The meat grinder. I'm to grind some meat. Zan. Eh? Ah, right, the cafeteria. <laughs> the heck, why are there teeth here? I don't know, because those things have to Someone should have helped that guy chew their food. <laughs> What the fuck does food have to do with shit, Resty? Clearly, because their teeth fell out. Nya! One, six, two! Nya. That's me, Nya. Oh god, there's actual zombos here too. Oh! Oh no! Oh, they're very dangerous. One, three, one. I can mean ya. Wait, was that another number? Fuck.
Are you mean it? Why does everything hurt? That's what he said. Yeah. To his mom. Well, let's just go get that card back first. You are winning, right? No. What do you mean, no? Oh, we have the photo tank and the rat acetone. You can combine those. Rat acetone. Oh, no, I can't. You got that rat acetone. Developer fluid. Auto dinin. Can be used to dissolve and clean up plastics, epoxies, and paints. CH3 to CO. Propa propanol. Common cleaning product used for softening and dissolve various paints and plastics. Alright, I can use that to get in the lovers. You got the rat ass tone, Rusty. The ass tone for the rat. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't need to make sense. You just got that rat ass. Right, there's no coming back here when I pick up the card, so. Let's ensure I don't miss anything. Be very thorough. That's a lie. Recipe is never thorough. Alright. Use the acetone. Pick up lovers. Pick yeah, so up what now? The fucking lovers tar tarot card depicts two women. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Isn't that a good thing then? Because you like women? I guess, but that's an abhorrent and false depiction of what the lover arcana tarot card should be. It's supposed to be Adam and Eve in the picture, with the hands of God above them. And I so guess the, two women the hand of God makes up the women. number six. Hmm? Who's the two women, right? <laughs> Who indeed are they? Maybe it's Alistair and Ariane. <laughs> Resby, give me a straight answer. <laughs> Did you like that, Rusty? Who came up with the variant? Uh, I, I'd actually buy a freaking Signalist-themed art tarot deck. Dick? That sounds awesome. Uh, doesn't really sound awesome, though. Where we lie. want everyone as women. All the all the all the, all the people depicted are women. Even the even the, the king. <laughs> or maybe the king would. J or maybe. Ooh, all of the pay all of the king cards and the emperor would just all be Adler. <laughs> king A rule. Oh, 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 oh. Why? Yeah, frick. I don't know. This place was already hard, all, as it is. The original in normal difficulty, it's fucking impossible here with just how little ammo and shit they give you. Yep, doors blocked. No getting past that anymore. That's what Rusty said. I didn't just say it though, it, it's the genuine truth. Why did you say genuine like genuine? Ain't nothing but a heartache. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Isn't this supposed to be a 
Hold on, let me get the fucking card first. Okay, that didn't work first. Give me the Star Arcana. Star Platinum. Ora, ora, ora. Yes! This oh my god! Be... Huh? This might be Resty. This might be the hardest. Um... Remnant of Death. Nice. Yeah, I'll use the stun prod here, fuck. Right, they can tank. No! Gay. Gay. And then I just suddenly felt like quoting a Mario character. So you're gay? Yes. Why are you gay? Why indeed? Okay, I need to restart this shit. No, I'm out of ammo. First he's out of ammo. He's out of ammo. He said. He, but he's just straight up lying. He, he's actually full on ammo. He's straight up just a liar. <sighs> Alright, fine. I'll bring more guns. How the fuck am I supposed to get more points here? I don't understand. What the fuck? Magic. Corpus car has my ass. How many characters can slow enemies down, Resty? Mm -hmm. There's Echo, there's Lisa, there's Kelvin, there's Lamia. None of those I have built. Nice. I don't think this is even... I think this might be the first remnants of depth that I can clear 150,000 points. 105,000 points, I mean. Nice. Have a lot of flare rounds. I don't. Um, I don't this understand. is how I'm gonna do things.
ask you. Shoot you. Ah, uh, alright, fine. It didn't work. Of course it didn't. Why would it? I don't understand though. Oh, nice. How am I supposed to get more points here? I just don't understand, Resty. It's not fucking working. <laughs> really, I ain't got no room. Really, I ain't got no nothing but a heartache. And just use these, I guess. Why not? I think. Is Darren needed here? No, Darren doesn't work because the enemies are not gonna be in front of Darren. Can the enemies get here? Does the fear team work here? Does the fear team work here? I don't <laughs> fucking know. Hello, hello. Turn the radio on, it's Saturday night, and it won't be long. Did I hit the dance floor? Hit the dance floor. Mecha, 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 meto. Tell me the fear team works here. It doesn't. Can Trust me, I know these the things. Can the porter guys not get feared? Why? Give me a reason why it doesn't work, Resty. Please. They're too stupid to be afraid. Literally. Like, literally? Maybe. No, they can get feared. They are getting feared, Resty. You are a fucking liar. Hell yeah, I am. Me when I am um, spread misinformation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put that there. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and baloney, something, something, something. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. I don't know why that even has a lyric. What are you even singing? Chicken wing. It's a song. A stupid song. Nice. A shit ass song. A song so shit that your mom probably heard it. Already from TikTok. Great. Not great. Indeed. You know, I'm gonna be visiting that hallway quite a lot. I believe murder is a good choice. Casually said by a psychopath. <laughs> Murder is a good choice. Alright, let's see if I can save up on a lot of ammo by bringing a grenade instead. We purposed as a grenade launcher. How? How do you turn a flare gun into a grenade launcher? You don't. That's the, the fun part, you, you just don't, Resty. That's the neat part. You don't. <laughs> How does Eve's spear work again? 
Or not oh. Eve, Levin. Levin? Uh, what, what fear? Ah, uh, when you cast it, everyone in the area initially gets inflicted by three seconds of fear. And then from then on, it's every three attacks from the grabby hands that it inflicts fear on whoever it attacks. What if you, what if you hit them multiple times with the fear? What happens? It doesn't stack. It just resets the damn countdown. It. Fucking damn it. <laughs> why? Presty, why? Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. I never wanna see Resty again. Cause I'm ah, wanted that way. Tell me why. That's a little too. That's a little too effective, even for me. What was too effective? All right, I that's actually I just realized that's actually straight up my first time using the grenade shots. That was awesome. All right, so the grenades for some reason doesn't count as permadeath. I'm pretty sure. So those guys can still come back to life. That's that's fun to think wow. about. So let's say your limb got cut off, you need to replace it with new robot parts. But the grenade fucking exploding on the enemies. Yeah, you still need you limb? still need to use the flare things. You still need to burn them. Cause I guess flares use a special type of burn. Unlike grenades, which literally incinerate this shit, because that's what a grenade <laughs> is. No, Resty, a grenade does not incinerate. <laughs> what the fuck are you on about? Well, it, it's, it's a superheated, compact thing. That's what causes explosions, right? You stupid. You want to know what makes a grenade dangerous? What? The fucking outside. That's the thing that fucking shoots out when it explodes. Called shrapnel. Huh. I see. Well, fuck. Didn't they have packed in more heat for my grenades then? <laughs> what I don't understand is why does the grenade that can tear limbs off kill fucking disembowel people? Because from, a, you know, just shrapnel shit. Why does that not destroy the robots but some measly fucking termite fire does? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, what you said earlier with the grenade fucking incinerate it doesn't incinerate shit. Alright, well, it's fine. I, I will admit I don't know very much about how explosives work. Yeah, clearly. But that still doesn't make they they still you still made more logic than the fucking people that made that game. True. Which is surprising coming from you, Resty. I can't aim properly because of the illusions. The illusion. Delusion. Ah, this is the same point, right? What did delusion do, Resty? Uh, made a very minor character die. Seven, uh, 70 rather 70, 38 right, As long as I stand still I should be fine Oh, now it's 69 Lovely Say hello, what's up, hello oh, cool, I did it 
That's a but good thing. Still, right? still terminally injured. Whatever. A save will hit heal me. I thought you were gonna say he's still terminally ill. <laughs> Ta-da! Now I'm only red. <laughs> Instead of dark red. When Resty gets left on red. <laughs> uh, okay, so as long as they're doing them, it'll just do me. And we won't have to do Resty each other. When, Resty when he's single and lonely. <laughs> Ooh, stump rod. Lock needs a key. Don't know what key it is. Of course you don't. You're a dumb mm. one. Your everyday I should store it. I should store this. The rifle. Show it. I only got how many points? 36k points. Wow, garbage. I'm just your everyday normal looking motherfucker. Every time that rest is upside. Yeah! I've been hurt! I know this song, girl. Looking at you, oh oh oh. How did they notice me when they haven't been noticing me before? They were stupid. Why are they suddenly smart? No, no, don't come here. Don't see me. Yeah, try to clip through the wall. You're trying to do a no clip. Sure, keep doing that. No, no, don't approach me. Stay the fuck away. No 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 Yeah 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 that's right bitch that's right bitch that's right bitch you can't see me literally I need to stop I should say stupid shit I sure do You're so kinda kinda weird If I talk surely they'll be able to hear me in real life there From real life. C is better than B is better than C, right? Uh, what? Are we talking about the alphabet? No, I'm talking about the, the C is better than B is better than C, right? Sure. I feel like you didn't understand the. <laughs> yeah, I I asked for clarification. Yeah, it's better this way, don't worry. It's alright. Again, are we talk were we talking about the alphabet there? No. <laughs> well yes, but no. <laughs> sure then. Oh, I can unlock the hospital room oh, but pitalo. actually there's no reason for me to unlock it yet anyway whatever it's just a waste of time to unlock it right now where is he gonna unlock the hospital 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 rest he said hospital fine be that way be what way be a stupid idiot what? who doesn't know how to listen yeah like that no, <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? No. So ominous, so aggressive. <laughs> you wanna know? <laughs> Good to know. I'm in a game, but then. I'm in a game, but then. I'm in a game, but then. I'm in a game, but then.
Ah, oh, nice. Pagkat tabi mo siya, ate Marie, parang matangkal ka, diba? Tapos mo kayo, tabi ka. <laughs> Alright. Who is talking? You're talking in Japanese. What? Oh, you're hearing my pattern over? <laughs> ah. What the fuck? Why? Why indeed? Oh, oh God. Why does Patanoa just randomly make you hear my game sometimes? Okay, killing the people in the hallway seems like it's not the best idea. What are you going on about? Oh, another one of these. 22. Hey, what? Maybe it's 122? Maybe it's 132? Maybe it's nothing at all. Two to two, two to two. <laughs> God damn. Damn. Am I dying? Can I actually die to these guys? Come on, just give me the next number. Die to what guys? 250. Ah, uh, that's the max frequency. Two nineteen. Uh, I'm not feeling very good. We are not gonna do our resting. Can we not eat death or rest the eye? with me. Oh god, this is even worse! That's what she said. What's worse? <laughs> Can you do your best uh, Michael Jackson impression, Rusty? Do your best hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> wow, that's, re that's actually pretty good. Nice. <laughs> I thought that's pretty bad, honestly, though. It is bad, but it's, you know, good in a bad way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe. Alright, time for more propane nightmare. You're selling propane? You like propane, Racy? I like myself some propane. I am a pro pain guy. I like pain. I am <laughs> anti pain, personally. Masochists be like, I like pain. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I have a question, Rest me. Hmm. Ask away. What? You know, uh, your Lady Pearl, right? Uh -huh. What are you gonna put on? What? What are you gonna put on her? Like crime brands? You know? I haven't decided yet. Maybe it is just the attack speed thing, and then the freaking piano. Hmm. Is that really the best one? I don't think the piano is good. <laughs> Ow.
I don't think piano good resting. Whoa, they are already back to life. Whoa, whoa. They are already back to life. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> I don't know why I was talking that way. Funny. <laughs> it's alright, I won't have to go. Uh, it's only gonna be one more time that I have to go back there. Kid, resty baby, one more time. Funny. Maybe I should just kill her again. The nicest guy to ever uh, <laughs> talk about murder. <laughs> my humor, I think my hum humor is broken. <laughs> Same. Maybe I should just kill him again. <laughs> Oh my god, how many bullets do I need to put on your face? A lot, because I'm out of ammo. <laughs> oh my god, how many bullets do I need to put on your face, Rex? Oh my fucking god, why won't you die? Do you have nano machines or something that harden and respond to physical trauma? Yes, they do have. Nano machines. They are literally robots, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right, actually. That's a very fair point. That is a very valid statement. <laughs> this remains the safest yeah. safe room to ever safe. Alright, the pistol is now officially all. useless. What? There is no Consider more ammo in the game left for it. Okay, you save up the energy, save up the energy, save up the energy, save up the energy, because this bitch is gonna take so much fucking four breaks. Look at all, all right. this horrible There will be a grand slaughter again. What is wrong with you? What is it with you and killing people? It's not my fault, they're in the way. Shit, that doesn't help. Exactly, it doesn't <laughs> help. I think you're just a crazy Matter psychopath. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that, that makes it worse. My reasoning makes it worse. I know. <laughs> you are just a psychopath. A crazy one at that, Resty. Crazy? I was crazy one. <laughs> they locked me in a room. <laughs> a, rubber a rubber room. room. A rubber oh, room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Make crazy. crazy. Alright, there's nothing oh. else left here. They left me in a re room. A room with Resty. And Resty makes me crazy. <laughs> Crazy. That is mean and rest. it offends me. No, don't care about the door. Kick the girl down! That sounds Crazy. bad. Crazy? I was resty one. <laughs> Crazy? Of course, there rest. is actually one door that works. Two doors that work. Team. Ah, the Paradolia puzzle. Ooh, a thermite player. What is Paradolia? Hmm? Uh, there's a book about it in the game. Ah, if I remember correctly, Paradolia is you seeing faces on things that are inanimate. I think. Yep. 
Yep, pretty much. Here it is. Uh, is this just pareidolia too? No, no, come on, tell me. Tell me what pareidolia means. Related to pareidolia, the tendency to see meaningful images in random patterns, like seeing a face in an ink blot or letters in a smudge of dirt. And yeah, there's a puzzle related to it here. Do you have right pareidolia? In this room. Everyone has pareidolia in some form, like this. Do you see anything here? I... Hang on. Um... I see butterflies. You sure do. Where's the face? There are no faces, but there should be something else. What is the something else? Alright, so this is the puzzle. Th this is... This is the code to a safe. Ah. Ah. The, 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 the butterfly have numbers? Uh, no. But uh, they have letters. A, E, O, and N. That didn't... I'm pretty sure those butterflies don't even exist IRL. <laughs> no, they sure don't. Uh, there's the O. There's the N. Ta-da! No! <laughs> My inventory is full again. And just load the flare gun, I guess. I need more magic fearing damage bitching. Okay, those are words. Yes. <laughs> I need to be RB. <laughs> No, why are you already back? What? No! That's supposed to not be like that! That's fine, there's still an alternative route. Oh, that door isn't supposed to be like that either. <laughs> oh, there's a save point nearby. I just need to make a run for it. Or rather, sneak. Booyah. 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 What the fuck are you saying? Are those even words? Yes. They are words. You are skill issue. Sure. <laughs> you are right, the skill of people. This game hates me. It's already blocked off certain shortcuts. I'm sure I already picked up everything I needed here. I hope. Either way, there's no going back now. There's no going back, because Rusty is back. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> Hmm, maybe... Oh, hello there, I can drop down here? Oh, that's lovely. Question mark? Straight to the garbage! Speak of the garbage. And there aren't any enemies here.
Pico de Garbage, Resty. Right, I still don't know what the store key is used for, so I should probably bring that. Try it out on every lock. Uh, I can use the red disc. Oh, that means I can go to the room now. The the best movie. What room? Here we go, Medibank. Just download it. I really, really, I really like this <laughs> freaking loading thing. <laughs> what else turned in the compooper? It's so cute. Five six zero five two four. Five six zero five two four. All right. Right. Let me just produce the walkthrough once again. I don't know. If we can run out of boobs here. What the fuck? Eh? Damn it! Why is running out? You run out of boobs? Yeah, I ran out of moves. Oh, or moves. Uh, random thought, of depth, I mean. I thought you said boobs. You ran out of boobs. You ran out of tits. That's impossible, because I don't have tits to begin with. Uh, true, I guess. How can you lose something you never had? Exactly. Stop being dumb. True. Stop being dumb, me thick. <laughs> Alright. So enter the back room. While in the back room, set your receiver to 240 and interact with the bookcase. Enter the back room, Shresty. The back room is where it's at. Enter it, Shresty. Click then. You gotta enter the back room, Shresty. Set it to 240. Shit. I got more points, I guess. But I need more. I need more. Song of the Gods. Can I interact with this thing? There it is. Key of Sacrifice. A new the sacrifice has been... The last key we needed. But there we go. All I need to do now is reach the end of the game. We have everything we need yeah. for the true ending. On the horizon, I saw a star fall into the sea, and the sound of thunder, like trumpets of angels, flew over the water. A mix of hail, fire, and blood hit my wet face, and a third of all creatures that lived in the sea died. Ah. Yung, ano oras na ba? 8.35 pa lang. Gusto nyo mami ng PLT? Wala ko pera, ma? Maubos pera ko. Ah? Wala kang pera. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
I hope I have enough room to pick up everything on the oncoming room. Yo, should we just DC? Maybe. You want to? Sure, let's go. Yeah, Bye. let's just go. Yeah. Uh, have fun trying to three star Abyss again. Because you have pride. No. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, she turned into us, turned into Elster, before dissolving completely. Whack. And there's just an auto injector. Oh, I shouldn't have picked up death yet. Yeah. It's alright, I don't have to go back there anymore. I can't. One more. Seems I was still much too careful with my resources in the end. Right, there's literally only two doors left locked, so... must be used here. A 
let's kill it. I said we were too careful. We deserve to feel a little bit of liberty. There we go. Actually, just to be safe, actually, I'm not gonna do that for the very last moment. enemies in that hallway. Yeah, let's kill them too. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah? 
This is our victory lap. Live a little by killing. I can't go here anymore. This will no longer be reloaded. Tess Lover Lang thirteen Sixteen Veneta Eighteen right front. That is the moon, which makes a lot of sense. Nineteen Buyan. Then the star at the top, just like in the other pictures.
true ending at last. Well, I say it's the true ending, but according to the developers, none of the endings are meant to be the true ending. There is no such thing as a good or a bad ending, but come on, with how secret this is, I, I consider it, I'll consider it the true ending. <laughs> One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's just enough inventory for you to. Uyan is full. It has this like that. Oops, didn't mean to. Lang Danetta. Just like that. want to feel the room we earned this it was quite the struggle but it was worth it
three, nine, four, eight, six, six, zero, one, seven, zero, two, four, three, two, six, zero, one, zero, six, four, I still live by my thoughts regarding this game. I like it. I like pretty much nearly everything about it. Like I said, the only thing I hate is the same thing everyone else hates, and even then not by much. And that's the limited inventory system. The revised system that allows you to just always carry the photograph thing, and the flashlight with you is nice. It makes enough sense. It's a good, it's a good middle ground for the people who don't like the 6 inventory system, but the entire game is designed around it. Bad game design isn't when something is uncomfortable, but when things aren't designed well around the things that you designed. And I think the 6 inventory limit is designed perfectly to you to be used properly it, not just for the game but even its story purpose and stuff because the number six is like really important in numerology uh, the number six uh, since that's since there's tarot cards and everything uh, those are two I've watched a lot of videos on signals I think it's fair that I end off the the Signalis playthrough by me giving my own thoughts on the game as well because the game I believe is only complete when you yourself have given your own thoughts and shared them out loud to other people 
what you think of the game and what the game is about, its story, its narrative and stuff. Uh, there's been all sorts of perspectives I've watched and seen that people study uh, this game by philosophical, uh, sociological, uh, the horror aspects and stuff, such as the obvious inspirations by Kas of Kasulu being a thing, and yeah, I live by that. I do believe this is this story is pretty much a cosmic horror. Uh, people say uh, that uh, one of the things is that this is all technically just a dream, but dead people realistically, scientifically speaking at least, can't dream. Uh, and we certainly don't know if robots can dream if artificial intelligence gets to that point where sentience, where they have full artificial sentience and we don't know if artificial sentience should still count as real sentience, you know? So even if even if death is nothing more than an eternal dream, we don't know if the same can be true for robots. So rather than... Uh, but I mean, in Cthulhu, I suppose, uh, reality is apparently just the dream of the sleeping Cthulhu or whatever. And him waking up would mean the end of reality itself. So, yeah. That's cosmic horror for you, I suppose. That is what Ariane is. What every, uh, what everyone in this universe who can, uh, do use the psychic power thingy. Artifact ending, baby. Nice, 12-12. <laughs> I like that. So probably just because I like Call of Cthulhu a lot, so I, I quite like uh, J.K. Rowling, no, who wrote Call of Cthulhu, whatever. I like his works, although that could be considered a lie considering I've never read any of them. But I consider it just being true to the mythos, okay? I'm not reading them because I know I'll go insane the more I learn about Cthulhu, you know? Some things are just best left unknown. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Ariane and therefore Elster, especially with the art after the artifact ending. You know, that is a bit of a mystery. Where, when, and how did she learn about that weird little ritual that can technically only be accomplished inside Ariane's dream? Because that, I believe, is the ultimate goal. That was their promise. Because the promise is still left vague in the end. We don't know what the two of them promised to each other. That's kept a mystery. Obviously, love is an important theme. And yeah, that's, those are the two things, I believe. The esoteric as well as the queer perspective are both things that haven't been discussed yet, and since I'm a big fan of both, I figure my thoughts on the game should revolve around those two things that I love very much. The esoteric as well as... The queer aspect as those both have not been thoroughly explored by any video regarding this game that I've watched thus far. We should be enough to fully heal you, right? I 
I swear to god, if it isn't, I'll cry. Oh my god, I'm crying. How many? Four blue repair sprays for a full heal. It says medium. Maybe you're maybe you really shouldn't uh, eat them all at once like that. Maybe that's a really bad idea. Oh, have I not killed them yet? I, I need to go back to the tarot reading thing. Because that's definitely important. Dang it. Yeah, so there's really only two things of the esoteric that we can gather uh, here. There's many numbers in this game. The game loves numbers. Uh, I, under I understand why a lot of people would ignore this because numerology is a really stupid esoteric practice that rightfully no one practices or takes seriously. <laughs> but... Uh, considering the tarot is here and the tarot is very involved, greatly related. Uh, tarot and numerology are great. Uh, to those who don't know, numerology is the esoteric study of numbers. It was created by a mathematician of all people. Someone very rational created the irrational practice of studying numbers for fortune telling. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's Blaise Pascal, I believe, who invented numerology. He was really obsessed with numbers, I suppose. And I mean, I guess, I guess I can't fault him too much. Everyone carries a, a little bit of irrationality in them, and I say the smarter you are, Cthulhu does have- there is one thing in Cthulhu I agree with. I like Cthulhu, but that doesn't mean I agree with everything. It says, I don't believe any secrets should be kept for any reason. But yeah, the more you know, the more insane you can get. It, it, uh, if you're smart, you're bound to get a little crazy eventually. There is bliss in ignorance. <laughs> In not understanding. Because the more we attempt to comprehend the universe, who who clearly doesn't care about being understood, nor was evolution ever meant to make people to make living beings understand the world, only survive in it. Jesus, I forgot I was using explosives. Put me in red immediately, jeez. Dang it. So yeah, there is a there are numerous books about it. Uh, although the origin there might have been an original publishing about numerology, I've never found it by the original inventor of it, the mathematician who made it up. Oh god damn it. This save file is very far back actually. Whatever, I guess we'll just have to rely on the really shitty photo. Or, um, actually... I'm pretty sure we can still go back to it anyhow, right? Yeah. 
You're darn tootin'. Hmm, out of curiosity, I guess, I kinda wanna try fighting the final boss again. Yeah, so numbers 1 through 100 uh, all have their own meanings. But afterwards, uh, it's all based on looking at individual numbers and maybe adding them all together. Any number past 100 should just be added together until they reach a point that has one of those meanings. So, one uh, means completeness, it means wholeness. Two means unity, the combination of man and woman creating something perfect. Three, the trinity represents... I really don't remember much. Uh, ten apparently is perfection from what I remember at least. Because uh, ten is the first double digit and it represents a completion of the cycle in the decimal uh, system. So yeah, it, it, it's strictly decimal. If you're using base 12 or if you're a crazy person like me and use base 6, uh, then numerology kind of starts l stops losing meaning. But hey, base 6 is a nice number and since 6 is such an important number here, hell yeah. Anyway, 5 uh, is the number of humanity. It represents our five, the five fingers that we have on our hands, the five senses that we possess, the five separate body parts we have of head, body, and the two arms and legs. Uh, seven represents fortune, because, you know, lucky number seven and all that jazz, apparently. Six, however, I don't know. You know, let me... Rather than going off of memory, we have technology. Let me search up numerology. Yeah, the most popular usage of numerology is to find your life path number. Basically, uh, you put in a few numer details of yourself that have numerical value, such as your birthday or something, and maybe your age, and then that's your life path number. <laughs> I'm not interested in life path though, just the pure meaning, meaning of the numbers themselves. Meaning, nice. Ah, no, man, see. Arithmancy before <laughs> it was known as arithmancy before. That's nice. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's Pythagoras, who who popular who was obsessed with it. Yeah, there's all sorts of systems, all sorts of wacky, some some actually sane and of scientific mind, others purely mystical and stupid. Alright, the Wikipedia articles didn't help me. Let's see here. 
yeah, a six card reading is something I've never done before in tarot. So I have no idea what any of these could mean. We could just take this literally. There are six planets and each card is represented by something. The moon represents illusions and the moon is apparently associated with rot front. Uh, so yeah, you could take this as a little bit of a uh, freaking world building. Tower is a very fitting card for Veneta, as tower represents collapse and tragedy. Since uh, that's kind of literally what happened to Veneta. <laughs> you know, it fucking blew up. Kitez is apparently represented by the lovers. The sun has a snake in this in, in this interpretation. In this game's interpretation. And yeah, everyone is a woman. <laughs> Let's see here. Numerology.com Learning about the single digit six. The number six is the embodiment of the heart. It represents unconditional love and the ability to support, nurture, and heal. It is a powerful force of compassion and empathy, and its warm light is a beacon of hope. Six doesn't wa generate any light. It's a fucking number. You write it. Its role is to use its heart and soul to be of service to others. The six in numerology shines in partnerships of all kinds, but especially emotional ones. Its empathy makes others comfortable letting down their guard and being open and honest about their feelings, which in turn allows it to understand and provide the help that's needed. We could all use someone in our life who manifests the devoted energy of the six. Alright. That is as usual with these websites regarding the esoteric. Very overly and outwardly positive with nothing, with no negative connotations. But there is some truth. Uh, although I, I, I do have a more objective uh, book regarding numerology. Let's just take this positive, overly positive uh, reading of the number six into account. So yeah, like, like Signalis is a horror story. It's a tragedy, more accurately. Think Romeo and Juliet. People say it's the most famous romance story, but technically, it's a tragedy. And that's what Signalis is ultimately about. The tragedy of love, and that's why the number six permeates throughout it. Think of Isa. And her devotion to uh, becoming a better person for her sister when she failed her, uh, but the tra but tragically ending when she realizes her sister is no longer there. Uh, or Adler and his devotion uh, to the Falk unit. And of course, there is the devotion Ariane and Elster has with each other, which permeates throughout the game and is the catalyst and is in fact everything that the story is about. It's about the two fulfilling their promises, which, yeah, let's, let's talk about that. The queer aspects. Honestly, I, I guess the only real reason there isn't anyone talking too much about the queer aspects of this game's story is just the simple fact that there really isn't much to say. It's very direct and upfront uh, to the point where there really can't be any subtext or hidden meanings or even any form of misunderstanding to be found. Ariane and Les and Elster are a gay couple, <laughs> and perhaps they love each other too much that they that they love each other across universes even somehow maybe. It might just be the memory, uh, the promise ending I get again, but I'm still curious what kind of ending I'll get with my playthrough. 
if I if it isn't the artifact ending. I can still go here. Even still go here. There's still plenty of places we can revisit. But yeah, the entire story could be seen as, although it is outdated now, the game started development in 2012. And it's very clear that ooh, although it is a little late to the party now and if the game c were completed much sooner, uh, who knows what kind of interpretations and reactions the entire story of this game might have received. But now since gay being gay is cool and stuff, uh, rather than it adding to the horror and the deepness and the tragedy and stuff, uh, the lesbian is kind of just put on the sideline, which I suppose is good that the social climate nowadays is this way, that signalis uh, uh, freaking queer plotline wouldn't warrant any form of radical reaction by anyone. Ah, yeah. Uh, although it it's kind of hard to realize to notice, this is actually just Aryan's room. Uh, ju it's just it's not in first person perspective anymore that we're seeing it in. Wow, only ten. I mean, ten is still good. Wow, that kind of sucks. Scratch that, it really sucks. Will he heal with our repair sprays and then we're just gonna bring the auto injectors? But yeah, it they were pro the again. I I don't want to make assumptions. I I honestly don't feel like looking up their the genders of the two leading developers behind this place either. They could both be lesbian lovers. They could be not. I don't like uh, being pers. I don't like uh, interpreting and reading things based on who their authors are. Uh, even though it is a valid way of reading into something. It's one I don't personally do because I like it when uh, a story is just a story with no real connotations. Obviously sometimes it's just unavoidable and uh, even for the best 
to read things like that. Like for example, JoJo's is just embedded with so much of Araki's own style and personality that you can't help but uh, study all of his works uh, with taking him into account. You know, like for example, the stands and the fact that they're all named after his favorite rock band specifically. You know? And how you can use that to read into things. Like, ooh, the freaking Gold Experience was named ooh, after the album. And therefore, we can gather a lot of things about Giorno as a character. Uh, by reading into uh, what Gold Experience as an album was like during its publication when Araki most likely heard about it uh, and used it as an inspiration and all that good stuff <laughs> to help with reading and understanding the character of Giorno Giovanna. But again, uh, Barbara, and Yuri, Barbara and Yuri Stern who they themselves don't matter for my reading. So I won't be taking into account the fact that they wear their inspirations in their pretty much in their sleeves like Araki does. Ooh, but focus purely on the fact that there this is a Yuri story. <laughs> uh, and stuff. And yeah, it's definitely all about the struggles, at least at the back in the day on how it was how it was to be queer uh, although a plot line I could say is a bit of a flawed uh, that could have been discovered more uh, could have been tackled a little more thoroughly but is pretty much just put in the sideline like I said uh, their lesbian relationship is treated very casually here and it's nice that uh, in today's political landscape that shit is isn't too gross for people nowadays thankfully <laughs> but yeah it could have been treated a little less casually considering the setting and the additional drama that could have brought you know them coming out uh, and realizing uh, that they were gay uh, and stuff because uh, Ariane does mention uh, it's near the end of the game, I guess, so I can't reference it right right now. I mean, I could fight the f final boss right now to prove it. To show, the, to show my point. And, uh, yeah, wow, my thoughts are all over the place as usual. And I'll end the video, and then a few days later, I'll think... Fuck, I forgot to say this. Fuck, why did I say this? And fuck, I actually think this way about it. I could have worded it this way, etc, etc. But whatever, you know. These are my initial thoughts. Leave it as it is, I suppose. <laughs> I'm too lazy to make an actual scripted video and stuff, you know? <laughs> Sad. Uh, but, uh... Yeah. So let's just talk about my interpretation of the story as a whole. Like I said, it's a very cosmic horror story. Uh, cosmic horrors are definitely involved. There's this thing called the Song of the Gods, which could potentially be Cthulhu deciding to sleep talk. And a few people uh, can hear it, maybe by will of Cthulhu and in their dream or just a complete coincidence it's just totally random and using these songs as Cthulhu is truth and if you know the truth you can do all sorts of things that would typically be considered as sorcery you know the Empress changed the world with it and of course Ariane creates this dream as one last ditch attempt to fulfill a promise and of course uh, Elster is able to hear it maybe Elster herself is also bio-resonant who knows uh, but uh, this, the central theme uh, of this game definitely 
are uh, signals, tragedies, and eternity. So everyone loves everyone loves the thought of love being eternal and stuff, you know? And that's certainly what both Elster and Ariane seemingly want to out of this entire mess that they've found themselves in. Just, can you blame them, you know? They live in a totalitarian, dystopian future, you know? <laughs> Uh, real our own life lives uh, some of us can, can consider our government uh, even something as uh, typically seen as a well-off society like America some people still see it as definitely a dystopia because of how hard it is to pay taxes and the fact that the healthcare system is absurdly stupid And stuff and Japan for all its uh, technology does live in a form of Confucius society still where hierarchies are still treated with utmost importance and of course wars do still go on uh, it's old news at this point but it bears mentioning that it is still happening. The war on Ukraine and stuff, I'm pretty sure, sadly, is still happening. As of me recording this. And as much as I hate being political, uh, uh, Elster and Ariane are victims. And the worst part is they aren't the only one who suffered this badly. The only real difference uh, Ariane and Elster have between the two is uh, between everyone else in this world is the fact that Ariane is a bio resonant and as a result could conjure up this entire dream world filled to the brim with all sorts of uh, cosmic horror dread you'd come to expect from a story like this. But yeah, determined Ariane dreams and Elster who wakes up and thus repeats this dream world of suffering as many times as she needs to because they have to fulfill a promise. And what is that promise? Uh, personally, obviously uh, leaning into the romantic side, I believe their promise is to love each other. Uh, for eternity and that promise is fulfilled somewhat in the game being an eternal loop Ariane and Elster always uh, Ariane always dreaming up this little world also Elster can still find her and they can be together again but it's imperfect only through Elster's determination and finally reaching the artifact ending, can they finally uh, be truly together and fulfill their promise? As we see them dancing in the artifact ending together again in uh, the broken place. Ariane still has her long hair and although there isn't enough details, she's probably still hurting in that scene. <laughs> uh, Elster most likely is too, but they're together now. Uh, the two of them will become new cosmic horrors, new gods to which they will sing upon a select few people to grant them the ability of bioresonance. And perhaps they'll decide to live eternally by rebirthing uh, and freaking reincarnating in two new souls as two new women who will once again meet each other. And tragic and, and fall in love in an eternal, constantly cycling, tragic love story. You know, like like the Zelda series, where it's always Ganon, Zelda, and Link getting into all sorts of shenanigans forever.
So that's my interpretation of the artifact ending, at least, and its relation to the other three endings that uh, obviously, uh, undeba- undebatably, canonically happens last after those three endings. Let's see how the final boss is in the hard end in the hard mode. Uh, fine, I'll save. I might die. Now I want to redo the puzzle. Yeah, I'll overwrite this. I could bring in the flare ammo and I just instantly use them all up on the first phase, but... Uh, I'll just have to deal with like this. Where's my flashlight? Fuck me. Whatever, we don't need the flashlight in the camera anymore. Maybe, maybe it was automatically rem- Right, it was. <laughs> Ariane being such a new elder god obviously couldn't control her powers. That so was up to Elster to finish the job. <laughs> I, I as you as you you could say. Yeah, no one mentions that, but Ol- Elster herself could be bio-resonant. Obviously, we don't see her using any bio-resonant powers like Elster, like Aryan and Falk very clearly do, uh, along with the Colibris. And yeah, Colibris are designed to be bio-resonant. But like... The uh, robots... The, the, the robots, I mean... I could just be blatantly wrong and this is straight up just fan canon at this point at this point. But Die 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 I shouldn't equip the auto injector. Ah! No, pick! Did I seriously miss? Oh my god, why do we suck at aiming?
Holy shit, this is hard. <laughs> Uh, why did I decide to be super liberal at the end? <laughs> With all my fucking ammo. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Die. I suck at aiming. There we fucking go.
Oh, that was compact ammo. Holy shit, they're so big. Straight up out of ammo now. Well, I won. <laughs>
So there's one last thing I missed in here as well. Permanent rest. Geiger counter. It could have been due to the fact that Ariane so blatantly ignored how she was supposed to treat Elster. Elster might have been a bit more neglectful of her duties. And as a result, things started going worse a little faster than expected. Before this actual 3000 cycle. Couldn't keep my promise despite my best efforts. I eventually fell ill too. It had to end this way. Yeah, I really don't think their promise was to just kill each other. Although that is as much as Elster does in the promise ending. I don't believe that's the whole truth. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's the same ending. Fuck me. <laughs> what did I expect? I pretty much played the exact same <laughs> as I did last time. Anyhow, of course, I'd get the exact same ending. Oh well. Literally trying to get any of the other two endings by ha play you say having a different playstyle. That is the harder challenge for me than beating the game in survival. I guess I should talk about survival last thing. Almost forgot about it. The difficulty of this game. I definitely recommend just playing through the normal difficulty. 
play on survival if you want it if you want to challenge on your next playthroughs when you're wanting to get through the when you're planning to get the other endings or at least only play through it on the artifact ending because it's already hard enough like i said playing trying to play the game in a different way than you're used to The only play through it when you're finally deciding to go through the, with the artifact ending and you've already gotten the other two endings you haven't gotten yet. Uh, that way you're truly familiar with the game and can truly appreciate all of the differences because the game is very different than survival. I like that, but it wasn't entirely unfair. They didn't change too much. It isn't like Resident Evil 7's madhouse difficulty where pretty much it was a, where it's a pretty much a remix of the original game I, I like survival difficulty but like i said uh, it's a little too unforgiving in many aspects and really really makes you uh, a lot of its difficulty choices makes people, makes you, or at least it made me give in to my worst impulses and worst decisions. You know, hoarding things, never using up healings, saves coming a lot. The normal difficulty is the best one. Uh, with just enough freedom and uh, comfort there that uh, you wouldn't feel too bad. You still would if you're if you just have bad impulse control. You still very much would probably just play like an actual magpie, like an actual Elster would. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't believe there'll be any more Signalis from me, and I definitely won't be playing any more of the game than I have to. Uh, it's very sad that things always have to end. I guess should things come to, I'll try and see if I can find another Resident Evil get like game. Cause, man, I really, really love Resident Evil. Classic Resident Evil. Which again, yeah, Signal is fulfilled very thoroughly for me. Call me nostalgia, a nostalgic bitch, but like. It's a genre, and it's a fun one, and more games should be made in this genre. Just skip this. <laughs>